All right, hello, it's Dr. Buford. We're just getting started on the right shoulder. We've already harvested some bone marrow, and now we're getting our first look inside the joint. We can see the glenoid down below at the bottom of the screen. You've got some arthritic change, but fortunately it's not that bad. We can look towards the posterior aspect of the shoulder. Here's the posterior capsule. And as we look up here, we can see the insertion into the humeral head. You can see that injury there. That looks like an old, maybe an old instability type event like a dislocation or a subluxation may have occurred. We can see some of the changes there. I'll focus a little bit more. Okay, and then as we look down the front of the shoulder here, Okay. We can see that there's really nothing else inside the joint to worry about. The biceps tendon here is gone. And that's something we already knew. So we're going to finish up inside the joint and really get to work on the rotator cuff next. Pause. Okay, so here's the tear. We're up above the rotator cuff. Let me give you the overall view. This blue cannula is coming in from the back of your shoulder. We've got a yellow cannula coming in, kind of anterolateral here, and then we've got another blue cannula in the front. And um, this is the tear. The articular margin right about here. So we're going to place our first suture anchor back in this region about here. So we'll make a little nick in the skin. I'll show you some more in just a minute. We need to straight first, then turn to the right. Okay, so here's the first anchor in. We've got the sutures there. We're going to reach in and take out a black and white suture here on the right. We're going to put a grasper in the front there. And then we're going to sew or put our first stitch in from the left side of the screen. This is what we call a crescent suture hook that we'll show you in just a sec. Okay, so here's our hook. It's loaded with a black wire called the Super Shuttle. You can see it coming out of the tip there. Vern, you're going to have to hold the scope right here real still. And so now we're going to reach in here. This is our grasper. I just want to make sure we're getting all the way underneath here. So this is really the deep layer that we want to make sure we incorporate. Hold right about there. And now, with a little bit of luck, you'll see us coming out on the left here. There we are right there. So we'll go ahead and feed that relay. We will retrieve it right here. And then we're going to load that with a suture. So if you look on the right side of the screen here, you'll see how the relay is going into the cannula along with that suture and then in just a minute we'll slowly pull back on it and you can see how that goes and it's going to come out right there so we're going to get the partner suture here pull tight okay which is going to be this other black and white suture and we'll go ahead and tie this knot right here and show you what that looks like when we're done. Okay, so that's what the first knot looks like. That's pretty snug. I'm happy with that. Now we're going to get this solid... Hold the cannula so it doesn't come out. The blue. We're going to get this... Hold these other sutures tight. Just pause, please. The cannula. Okay, I just want to show you where we're at here. We've got... Our second anchor down, we've passed and tied two of the sutures. That blue and white one is the third suture from the first anchor. We aren't going to tie that yet because it would make it hard to see. We're going to go ahead and uh, what? All right. um, continue passing and tying sutures. So we'll take the crochet hook. Let's see, we started with the black and white, so we'll keep that pattern here from the second anchor. And now we'll take a turn to the right, and we're going to place these three sutures through that hole that you still have there. You'll see the pullback bar. Okay, come up here. Here's the hook. We 
we'd like to get this repaired down like that. And you can just see it's coming through there. Okay, so we've got the initial repair done. Six sutures all the way up to the rotator interval on the right. And you can see that work there. And of course, we started all the way back here. So now we're going to do some measurements and see what we can do about this patch. Okay, so we've got the owl patch down. You can see the sutures around. It's secured down here. All the way around and in the front. If you rotate, it's all moving together as a unit. That looks good. Now we're going to do the stem cell injection and get you back to the recovery room. But we're all done. It's about 11 o'clock, so we've been here about two hours for the surgery, not counting the stem cell aspiration. So I'm happy with the way that looks. You can see how it's all moving together as a unit. And now we're going to get you back to the recovery room in just a few minutes. Good luck to you now. Bye-bye. Okay, let me see the...